The Russians have found another death point in Ukraine, Belohorivka in the Luhansk region. For several days the occupiers tried to force the Siversky Donetsk river there. They brought pontoon crossings and suffered losses. They tried again and suffered even more. According to Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs of Ukraine Anton Gerashenko, within a couple of days the Russian lost about 250 units of equipment and about 1500 soldiers and officers. At the same time, the volunteer intelligence community in Form Nepal reported that one of the Russian units sent 550 people to cross the river. Only 65 of them returned alive. And all this is the result of the work of Ukrainian artillery. Russians, as always, when there is no way to brag about their own steal from others. They showed footage of the battle and said they had destroyed the pontoon crossing of the Ukrainian military. However, the Russians did not explain why the armed forces that are currently defending on this section of the front went to cross the river. And this is not the first case when the Russians showed their destroyed equipment but posed that this is how they eliminate Ukrainians. Listen to the bravura statements of one of the main Russian military propaganda Igor Konashenkov. Within two days, 29 Ukrainian UAVs were shot down, including eight attack drones Bayraktar TB2. At the same time, four Bayraktars were shot down this afternoon. Also, when trying to land on the night of May 8, three armored Ukrainian assault boats of Project 58181 Centaur were destroyed. This is how they tell about the alleged attack of the Ukrainian military on the island of Zmyini. Konashenkov speaks of several destroyed Ukrainian planes and helicopters with a landing party. And he assures that it was Zelensky who personally ordered such an offensive after consultations with the British. Russian propagandists did not hesitate to talk about it in the news. They even showed a video. But in reality, this footage shows Russian troops being hit by the armed forces of Ukraine on Zmyini. Ukrainians destroyed the occupier's air defense systems, a couple of helicopters and several Russian landing craft. According to Ukrainian intelligence, only eight of the 40 liaison officers sent to the island from the Russian-occupied Ukrainian Sevastopol returned alive. The interception of conversations clearly shows the details. <laughs> Probably the same can be heard when Ukrainian armed forces beat them again in the famous Chernobyevka near Kherson. Since the beginning of the invasion, the Ukrainian military fired Russian position there 20 times. The occupiers told their parents about this more than once. <laughs> Куда же она делась? Все разбомбили, что ли, вас? Да. Мы здесь вон приехали в Херсон на базу. Здесь вообще жопа. Кладбище вертолетов. Своих? Ну да, у нас же как все в армии, все по линейке, все ровненько. Вертолеты выстрелили в один ряд и все накрыло нахрен грабли. The Ukrainian military methodically destroyed the occupiers in the legendary Chernobyevka. Despite this, they come there again and again and again suffer losses. У меня мама командир моей батареи второго взвода сам себе в ногу стрельнул, чтобы свалить отсюда. Еще в самом начале. О чем говорить можно? Он срочку в тесне служил. Как у них по уставу офицера сказано, если бригады меньше 50% осталось, бригаду выводят либо прикомандировывают к другой бригаде. А по итогу что? Мы как воюем, свои бригады так и воюем, а народу только меньше становится. У нас люди вообще путем даже сами пропадают. Кто просто без вести пропали. Кто-то в плену, кто-то где-то гасится, прячется, кто-то уже в России, может быть, давным-давно. And while Russian soldiers sent by Putin to kill Ukrainians are worried about their relatives, those who live in Russian cities say they are ready for anything for the sake of the homeland. Well, almost everything. Патриот чего? Своей страны? Конечно. На что вы готовы ради страны? На все. Смотрите, у нас у нас есть патриотический список. А, можете, пожалуйста, нам оставить свои данные? И в случае всеобщей мобилизации у вас будет... Во... Подождите, почему? Мужчина, почему не... Such are they, Russian patriots. They say they are ready for anything. And when they learn that Putin can send them to war, they run away. After all, they can get to Bilohorivka, Chernobyevka or Zmyini island. And whether 
whether their body will be brought home is another question. After all, as you know, Russia is abandoning its own soldiers. But if they're lucky, the children may come to the grave. Or they will decorate it, as for example it was done in Novosibirsk. There was a competition for the best decoration of graves. The winner received 20,000 rubles. Those wishing to take part were even brought from occupied Ukrainian Sevastopol. It's 4,500 kilometers away, but such a distance did not frighten them. After all, this is the chance to earn that no Russian wants to lose.